Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving into the Bitcoin chart, the big move up that we are seeing right now, some targets of this pattern and the importance of sticking to a plan. So let's go straight into the analysis. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. As we know, yesterday we were looking at a fake out uh, of a symmetrical triangle, which basically had a, you know, a fake out to the upside before reversing the opposite direction. After reversing to the opposite direction, what we had here was a, you know, a parallel channel. Essentially, we had a parallel channel resistance. We have a parallel channel support. We came down to the parallel channel support. And this is where the importance of two things. Firstly, creating a plan and secondly, sticking to that plan. You know, we've said it time and time and time and time again. 95% of traders lose money. Why are the primary reasons traders lose money? The number one biggest reason why traders lose money is that they have no plan. They do not know where to really be getting in and out of the markets. So when there is a big move, they freeze they panic and they end up losing money. And this happens time and time and time and time again. So as we were saying, like the only way to counter this emotional mindset is by creating a trading plan. And how do you create a really good trading plan? It's obviously by having really good technical analysis. And yesterday we came down to the lows here. You can see the lows are around $43,900. And this was a really big support level. This was your prior range point of control. You have a lot of fear in the market. And in my opinion, a really good buying opportunity. Again, this is not hindsight. I'm going to now show you some of the posts in the group. And just to emphasize, I had a plan to buy. I stuck my by my plan and now we're seeing in really nice profits. But let's, let me talk you through this so you can understand my thought process, the plan and how we're profiting from this. So this was yesterday in the middle of the drop while everybody is ultra, ultra scared. Really simply, I'm saying orders that I set up two days ago waiting for the drop are now getting filled. Happy to stick to my plan. So you can see here the order was set up on the 9th. We're now on the 11th, two days ago. And you can see the order there that was filled was $43,910. Now we obviously set up at 46000 So literally getting filled to the wick of that low. <laughs> that's based off of the point of control such a powerful tool but the, the post that i want to refer you to primarily is this one and this was waking up this morning at 10 a.m before this pump this pump happened at 10 30 you can see funnily enough my post in the group here was at 10 past 10 so i'm pretty good at posting bullish things and then literally yeah uh <laughs> anyway i was saying this to my team this morning and this is why we need to make a plan and then stick to the plan. I was comfortable holding an underwater long position yesterday or still longing the dips, which has now made my position back into the green. Everything is on track because basically I was comfortable adding to long positions while we were down and around these lows. So essentially accumulating a long, sticking to my plan because I was expecting higher prices. If you look at the post here that I'm referring to, let me go back to this post again. Price after this was still at the very lows as it was yesterday at five o'clock. Really simply giving a very simple, non-emotional and valuable update to the champions group saying update. Still sticking to my plan of accumulating a long position here. You know, then I go on to say if I was ready to buy a dip and then that dip happens, it makes no sense that I'm going to get scared and sell. E.g. while price is literally down at these very lows, I'm more, more, more than happy to continue to buy here because I had a plan for the last few days of buying when price gets down to this region. So what I'm saying is it would make no sense that when price actually drops, why would I get scared? Why would I not buy? I, I, I think reply to this guy. He replies to me saying, most people pray for a dip to buy only to then get scared and sell at the bottom. And this is 100% true. <laughs> this is 100% true. So like people, when price was up at 48,000, they would have loved to have bought back at 44,000. But then the drop happens. They, they get too scared. They get very emotional. They think price is going to go even lower and they end up frozen, not buying. And then you get the pump like you've had this morning. And then these people are going to be thinking, oh my God, I just missed the low. I'm so annoyed. And they'll end up buying, uh, you know, right up at the highs because of now, now their fear of missing out. 
So I just needed to start off this technical analysis by emphasizing, again, this, this video is focused on education and helping people. And I just want to emphasize here, how have we managed to profit again on the Bitcoin market? It's by really simply sticking to the plan. Okay, so firstly, how did we how did we not be able to feel emotional by having a drop? We recognized where the support was going to be on the drop. And then when the drop actually happens to that support, we're more than comfortable buying at the support region, accumulating long positions because we're expecting another move to the upside. And then naturally, when this move exactly as predicted <laughs> happens to the upside, we are more than comfortable to take a profit doesn't mean we're going to close the whole position, but it does mean we're going to have to pay ourselves now because naturally, we, although one could say this looks really bullish, you could still get a channel that occurs and you do drop to the downside. This is why it's, it's more, it's very important to essentially take profits on longs. You don't just hold on to your positions forever. Okay, so you don't just try and buy and think, oh, I'm just going to hold on to this forever because then when the drop, another drop comes, you're going to be thinking, just, why did I not take profits? You know, it's the same thing over and over and over again. Um, so we approach this market in a very non-emotional, very professional driven way. And that is we make our plan using technical analysis. We stick to the plan and well, we keep on walking away with, with money in this market. So that, that's basically how I'm approaching this. And if you're not aware, I did post that 17 hours ago on Instagram for absolutely free. So if you're not following on Instagram, make sure you go and follow the Chart Champions Instagram. I give urgent updates absolutely free inside of the story and that was yesterday 17 hours ago telling you all that i am long on bitcoin that was obviously way before this massive move so that was pretty valuable if you want to follow over now so then what we're leading up to here is we'll now go over the targets so i've talked you through the original plan which for me was accumulating a long and as you can see here this is a pretty nice chart and then, you know, I've talked my group through anyway, the, the levels where I was happy to buy it. Again, I've taught my group, the actual champions, where I'm happy to enter, where I've got my stop loss or the invalidation anyway of the trade. I've told them where the invalidation is. They know where my higher targets are. So what we're going to do in this YouTube video for free on the public is we have recognized we're, we're clearly in long positions. Where could a potential resistance be here? Well, if we got this really, really, really nice channel, you can see the high of this channel is coming in at around $46,700. So we have that as a, a potential resistance. If we break out of that channel, then naturally uh, you're going to be looking up to those next series of highs, which are around $47,800. If you break that, it really does look like you're going to make a new all-time high, $50,000 region plus. I think it would look really, really, really bullish. Alternatively, we put in another lower high lower high we put in another lower high here and we head back down to the support region which our support region is obviously forty five thousand. and you have your lower support now which would be the low of this channel at around forty three thousand dollars so forty three thousand would be your low support you have the intermediate support of around 45 so it's very clear um and, and i and i hope you can appreciate how we how we are even when the price is moving up you know pretty fast paced like it is now we're able to remain totally calm you know there's no you know you don't see me coming in here and oh my god look at this look at this look at this no i'm, I'm so calm I'm so collected i don't have to manage my trades in here i have taken profit one and this is the this is the value of taking profits because when you have that plan you stick to the plan you buy when prices come up here you can take profit one Put your stop loss and then be in a position where you can literally be saying to yourself anything can happen now and i'm totally okay with that price can continue to pump and i'll continue to make money that's going to be pretty nice or alternatively if price does reverse to the downside heavily and let's say that we get stopped out we're going to get stopped in profits because of taking profit one and having a stop for loss at entry you're essentially you know, you're okay with that because you make money now, whatever happens. And that's the beauty of trading. That now I'm in a position where I will make money on this trade, whatever happens. You know, so price can literally do anything right now. And that trade is guaranteed profit. And that, that really is the beauty of trading where you don't even have to be right to make money. Um, you know, it's a pretty nice position to be in. But how do you get into that position? 
well, once again, I'm going to repeat it because I really want to get this into your heads. You have to make a really good plan using technical analysis, and then you've got to stick to that plan. That's not getting emotional and FOMO buying these highs. It's not getting, you know, scared and fearful at the lows and selling at the lows. You know, no, it's sticking to your plan, you know, buying when it comes down to the lows and, uh, you know, taking profit when you, you reach highs. And now it's either a case of we'll break the channel, probably likely to head to all-time highs, or alternatively, we'll find too much resistance here, make another lower high and head back down to either forty-five to $43,000. I'm pretty uh, comfortable with whatever happens here, naturally, because I'm I'm long. One, one, one would favor a move to the upside. Um, so we'll have to see how this goes. We can obviously start to look for our signs of absorption, look for our signs of the volume, see really what's going on here. Uh, let's just take a quick look together. Uh, so far here on the one minute chart, there's nothing really that says this is so bad at the moment. It looks absolutely fine. Yep, I would say this is looking pretty nice at the moment. Obviously, you can see that this is the chart champion season two. I am currently in sixth place with 47% profit. So that's literally increasing the account by nearly 50% in, well, this has been running two days. So this is how you, how I'm emphasizing stick to the plan. You know, if, you, if you're making, you know, even 10% plus in, in two days and here's the refresh, it's currently at 46% now because we've got a slight retrace but you know this is this is the beauty of trading that is two days of trading 46 percent account increase why because i stuck to a plan and i executed the plan and here's the proof in the pudding this is the chart chart champion season two that's me in sixth place currently 46 percent and i've not even been using high leverage you know the leverage i'm using here is like times eight so um, you know, not even using high leverage on those trades and 46% account gain in two days of trading. That's pretty impressive. If I, you know, that's pretty impressive. Uh, so yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed me talking you through this. Um, I've talked you through my plan, which was basically accumulating long positions. I've taught you through the targets of this trade, which is generally going to be the top of the channel and what we can expect if we break through the top of that channel, look for around 48,000 again and possibly all-time highs i'd say likely all-time highs <laughs> or alternatively we, we reject here we do put in another lower high and then we know where to look down for for our lower targets so i feel i've given you a pretty nice analysis here if you've enjoyed you can give a like to the video um, i'm going to try and get a live stream for you tonight a uh, free public one and da -da -da -da. ah yes i must say no financial advice in this video in this video there's been no financial advice i'm not telling you what to do with your money i'm never going to tell you what to do with your money this is just an educational entertainment video nothing more nothing less um so i hope that you've you've learned something from it uh so yeah i'll upload this now for you cheers everybody thank you have a brilliant 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 day and goodbye <laughs>